Hello from St. Peter's Church in Midtown, New York City. Uh, I'm going to do a long overdue organ demonstration of the newly rebuilt uh, Kleiss organ by Fisk in 2023. And we are going to go through the stops uh, one by one, some of the new stops. Uh, Starting with the prestant and alternating between the prestant, uh, which is the old facade pipes by Kleiss, revoiced by Fisk, and the new um, Thuringian scale principle eight, which is behind the facade. together. Let's try the octave and the preston together. Principal and the octave. Grossgedacht 8, also modeled after Arnstadt. And the Quintadena, which is new, also modeled after Arnstadt. So the Principal 8, the Grossgeduct 8, the Quintadena 8, those three stops were newly built by Fisk uh, last year and voiced in the tradition of the Thuringian and Middle German uh, voicing tradition. So it's great uh, to accompany a congregation and also they are great to play Bach. So let's move on to the Quintadena.
together with the Grosskeda. with the principal. Four of them together. adding the pomer it's a really warm sound it's great to accompany the congregation also with choir moving on so this is the principal excuse me, the Prestant 8, Octave 4, and the Quint. switch the pressed on with the principal and you can hear the difference it's a little bit less eight foot definition in the plenum and more color perhaps That was the idea behind having two principals on the grate one is a little bit more warm at a press stunt uh, and wider scale great for franc the other one is uh, uh, more of a string but, uh, with the two together or the gross geduct even the quintadino had some color nice to have that foundation for the entire instrument. Moving on, on the plenum, so let's do pressed on octave quint and octave two.
Same thing with the principal instead of the prestant. Now let's add the quintet in it. just adds a little color to it. Okay, uh, terz. Mixture. Interesting, it sounds better without the super octave. Super octave gives it a little more color, but also it makes it uh, somehow conflicts with something. Add the terz and the pomer. I'll just add the super octave. Now, let's add the pedal. Posaune, trompeta. I like to add the other 16 fuss stops because in this room you need it. So, principal bass, sub bass, octave eight, posaune, and hold trompeta. Without the terz and the super octave. So you have a lot of variety, uh, even switching out the Preston with the principal. Adding the Quintadena for fun. Uh, the real food that we haven't tried. Really nice with the quintadine. It's one of my favorite combinations uh, on this organ. Okay, moving on to the trompeta, which uh, has been completely reworked, revoiced, and lengthened, and retongued by Kleiss. I'm sorry, by Fisk.
with the octave. Very nice, and also it works quite well with uh, sort of a grand jeu registration. That's pretty much it for the first manual, the great. Moving on to the swell, second manual. Uh, starting with the gamba, which uh, has been revoiced, but it used to be one of my favorite stops on the old Kleiss, and it remained. Nice with the Schwebung. Now you can create almost a voce umana, uh, coupling the Schwebung to the principal. to the Rohrflöte, which is a brand new stop uh, by Fisk. Uh, it starts off quite weak in the bottom and it opens up in the top, so it's a more romantic stop. close the box at all. Principle four. With the Rohrfurte. Now the Traverse flute is very interesting because it used to live on the grate and I asked them to switch with the Rohr flute so you have this combination of the Quintadena and the Rohr flute for on the grate and the Traverse flute being more of a 19th century stop it, I felt it belonged to the swell 
and it's a wooden stop mm -hmm. and um, it didn't quite fit in the box with the bottom wood pipes so Fisk built two octaves of new pipes from metal and then from from tenor C it's the old um, Kleiss pipe work and you can tell the difference because it's it's void so well so can you can hear that traverse float uh, quality in the top with the Rohrfurter. The Waldflöte is really beautiful. Uh, let's compare it with the sesquierto on the grade. Okay, we have a sharp. It's uh, what you would expect. Dulcian. Add the uh, Cremorne. Corny. Okay, let's listen to these reeds, which are all the Kleist reeds, but reworked by Fisk. First, the Dulcian 16. The Rohrfutte. quite nice and the Cromorne it's a very French a German idea of a French Cromorne uh, bold uh, but a little bit sharp the Traverse flute
together with the Dualcian. A little bit out of tune. Now pedal, that needed a lot of work. The sub bus had has been completely resized, built, uh, they built a new low C and uh, jumped the whole rank, a half note. It's still on the quiet side, but it's about five times louder than it used to be. The principle same, it didn't have any uh, much of a foundation tone now, it's a really nice violon bus. These are the facade pipes, uh, octave 8. With the sub bus is very nice and useful. The pedal board is a Fisk pedal board, so it's close to a BDO German uh, pedal board in Europe. I like it because it's flat, but the sharp keys are curved a little. That's that and uh, moving on to the next stop on the pedal which is the Geduct. So this Geduct used to be the Geduct on the grate and uh, since we have a new gross Geduct uh, I moved, uh, we, we have moved the uh, grate Geduct to the pedal, super octave. And then a Hintersatz uh, with all the flues. Dauna, which has been revoiced by Michael Kraft. you it didn't sound like this before. A whole strompeta. This one also had to be completely rebuilt, retongued, lengthened. A lot of work went into this strompeta and it sounds a lot better now. The Cremona is a Fisk stop that uh, replaced the Rorschalmei 4 and I wanted to keep it at the 8 foot range which is a little bit strange to have two 8 foot reeds in the pedal but um, I wanted to have as many 8 foot stops on this organ as possible including the pedal so I kept the Cremona uh, from uh, Fisk, uh, Charlie Fisk built this, this reed for an instrument in Indiana, Opus 67, and Fisk happened to have it and uh, they offered to us as a gift. So it's, it's fantastic. It's, it's really a French reed. Listen to the other Cremona.
So you can almost accompany the Cremona with the Cremorn. So that works really well. And uh, also sometimes I do something sacrilegious, um, doing a sort of a French improv with the Cremona. Yeah, let's hear something uh, what resembles a full organ. Uh, first, a uh, nice Cantus Firmus kind of improv on the second manual with the uh, uh, mixture plenum on the first. with the coupler and all the reeds in the pedal and uh, terz and the pomer. <laughs> 